Good morning, folks. We'll start with this so you can pause and get outside if the sun's creeping up on you. The moon conjoins Jupiter today and tonight. This is the view from Columbus, Ohio. If I pull this up here and jump ahead one day, by tomorrow the moon has hopped over Zeus as far as we can see it. This means that the UK and Australia have a better chance at seeing perfect conjunction. Remember, France and Russia suspended Monsanto's GMO food. Well, now you can find that the study saying it causes cancers being played down by officials everywhere. But what's a little harder to find is that those people are in Monsanto's pocket infuriating conflict of interest. About three days after Apostle Dave expressed concern over landslides in China, 19 school children buried alive. Quake activity got interesting when a 5.5 hit the Mid-Atlantic Ridge yesterday. It's not unheard of, but more common north and south near Ascension Island, but then it kept going. In all my time watching quakes, I have not seen a swarm in this location, certainly not at the 5 magnitude level. You see also that the Virgin Islands area is rocking as well. The quake swarm is constant there, but intensified recently with 4 magnitude tremors, tough not to assume a correlation. Something interesting here, not really a landslide, the coastline is sinking into the water at alarming rates, steadily 200 feet in the last month alone. This is native territory and the locals have been quoted to say, this is something different. Wrapping up RSOE with Red Tide in Sarasota and staying right in that area for the top rain record yesterday, that is no joke in one hour. Bradenton, Tampa, Clearwater area all affected as well. Double doses, we not only have the funneled moisture right over top, but watch that pop-up storm. Hello. Pulling up the pressure map, we see where it appears two different high pressure systems meet in the middle and if you are picking up on the pattern you see the wind map meets right in the middle, that cold still streaming down. As you might guess, the experts identify this as the Torcon zone for tonight as well. Earth footprint is clearly visible, indicating a front side connection with those left side group of connection points up there. The right group is near the limb or just behind it. Space weather quiet folks, or is it? No, Tony isn't lying about the flares. They are MIA at the moment. But the biggest filaments have stayed on as well, so what could I possibly mean? Do you see the surface rippling around the dark coronal hole? These are solar tsunamis, and we had about four of them last night. They are exactly what they sound like. Google them if you want to know more, but these often produce immense instabilities in the corona above the surface, instabilities of an electromagnetic nature, which tend to act on the charged particles floating above. We might not see any big eruption, but it happened. Earth off to the left here on stereo A, off to the right there on stereo B. Looking dead on from Earth at the Soho Lasco C3. Watch the clock at the bottom. It's cut out, missing some images, but we have just enough to tell that Earth should take at least a glancing blow sometime this weekend. If we get any Earth-directed flares, this will likely be the culprit, although I still can't believe how benign the magnetic looks considering the contorted umbra. Anyway, Venus heliocentrically opposes Mars today, opposite sides of the Sun, and the planets are offset here so I can tilt to reveal a geocentric conjunction of Mercury and Saturn. Eyes open with no fear. It's 6.08 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.